this piri piri peppered steaks a little sausage for me and then we've all got burgers as well diet is officially over never even got off the ground are we recording? yeah oh, well good morning from Crab Mill Farm beautiful day beautiful sight and it's been a very very relaxing weekend but the purpose of this little part of the video is to ask how did we get on with the Kadak? How did we get on with the Kadak? I found the Kadak compared to the Tapanyaki I have to say that the Kadak was a lot easier to cook on It cooked very very quickly didn't it? it yeah but I don't know whether often that's a good thing so we've got to um, we've got to figure out the temperatures a little bit better, haven't we? Yeah, I think we started off on the temper a little bit too it's high. Because it's not it's not always a good thing to cook food very quickly. Um, and cremate, cremate everything within the th first what thirty seconds. I think we need to get used to the temperature gauge on a kadak. <laughs> I think we've done the bacon just a little bit too much. Well, maybe you shouldn't do bacon. On it's it. even got the barbecue stripes from yeah. the grill. Well, maybe we shouldn't put bacon on it. I don't know. Well, why, why, why can't you? That's what that thing's for, isn't it? Yeah. No. Well, anyway. Probably should have used the pan. Oh, it's done. It'll still be tasty. I hope. Uh, but I think I think we did okay. I think. What I did not like about the Kadak is it is an absolute bee to clean afterwards. The plates are big, they're heavy, they're yeah. not big enough um, to wash properly in the caravan. And if you're at a site like we are now that doesn't have a pot wash, we're going to have to figure out some way of you know getting a big bowl or, or something to I think wash it maybe with. we should have used the bowl out of there and just washed them out here on the table um but well, they are easy to clean aren't they but yeah, if, when if you've I got say a pot that, wash without a pot wash that it, it, it was a little bit different than the caravan a container big enough to put the thing in it does clean very easily um, but it's just when we first used it we didn't put water on the outside of the, the main base so when the fat dripped in it baked on so I think we learnt that lesson so when we had our barbecue last night we put water in the outside of it um, and it stopped it getting baked on and it obviously it stops the flare ups um, I got that tip off of the Morley's video so um, that worked quite well and it made it a lot easier to clean didn't it yeah i mean don't get me wrong once you are... yes i know I you'd have to excuse that. the cows um once i i you know got something proper to, to clean it in it, it, it was very easy to clean you might have to speak up over them mm. so uh, it's been a really really relaxing weekend hasn't it and we got to use our card deck a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> um, Michael absolutely loved the farm dog, and I think the farm dog loved Michael. Yeah, the dog stayed with us the whole weekend, didn't it? And Listen to that. And when we went out, she she sat by the van apparently waiting for him to come back. So, yeah. so we've had a really relaxing weekend. We've got something really special coming up in the next couple of weeks which I'll do a few vlogs about but I can't say anything just yet so um, they're on it they'll be on their way next week um, and then sh there's a couple more things I want to do before the end of the month and then obviously at the beginning of next month we go away to Cornwall for 17 nights so there'll be lots of videos coming from that because we've got a ton of places where we want to visit and do a few vlogs and videos for you um, Especially with us now joining the National Trust and, and the English Heritage, so it's going to be 
some trip in it. Although we're not moving from site to site, we're staying on the one site. There's, there's just so much that we want to see and do. So. Do you know, I've, I've loved listening to them cows. Everybody complains about this site because of that noise, but... It's great. It's all part and parcel of staying on a farm seal, isn't it? Yeah. You've caught the sun. Oh, is it I think I am as well, hence the long sleeve shirt. Um, so I think we're pretty much done. I have to say though, you do question the ethics of cooking a big bloody steak. A oh fence, yeah, cooking a, a steak next to a field of cows, field of cows and then having a burger as well. That, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think all the, all the farm <laughs> vehicles are coming as well now, so... Um, right, well... Until our next video, which is going to be a little bit more exciting than a Kadak <laughs> review, but there you go. Um, because it's new to us, we just wanted to vlog this because uh, it's all a big learning curve for us with this Kadak. Um, I was dead yeah. against it, but to be honest with you, I think I'm converted. I have to, I have to be I honest, really like if it. you gave me now the choice between the Tapanyaki and the Kadak, I think I'd choose the Kadak. But I do need to find something a bit better to clean it in. Yeah, only only because there was no pot wash. Apart from that, it was it was awesome. It was brilliant. Mm. Listen to that. <laughs> well, going for it now. As soon as we start filming. So um. Cheshire, crab, yeah, crab, crab milk, Cheshire well, Welsh border. We don't know whether it's in Wales or Cheshire. It's got a Cheshire postcode, but on the map it's actually over the border in Wales. Yeah. So from the Welsh border and Crab Mill Farm. So it's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from them. Say goodbye cows. See you nothing. next time. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. See you later.